tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Thursday, January 17th, 2019. I'm Kurt Lidke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories that you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. Just two months after a wildfire wiped out Paradise, California, officials are already gearing up for this year's fire season and fear the government shutdown could make it even more difficult than one of the worst in history last year. The winter months are critical for wildfire managers who use the break from the flames to prepare for the next onslaught, but much of that effort has ground to a halt on U.S. land because employees are furloughed. Firefighting training courses are being canceled from Tennessee to Oregon, while piles of dead trees are untended in federal forests and controlled burns to thin dry vegetation aren't getting done. Although the furloughs only affect federal employees, the collaborative nature of wildland firefighting means the pain of the four-week-long shutdown is having a ripple effect, from firefighters on the ground to federal contractors and top managers who control the firefighting strategy. In 2017, downtown Klamath Falls grant programs helped to make new upstairs apartments for medical students a reality. Once again, the Klamath Falls Downtown Association is getting ready for another round of applications. This time, they'll have at least $145,000 to distribute toward front-end building redesigns, cleanups, and additional upstairs housing plans. The money from these grants comes from the Oregon Main Street Project, which previously put more than $2.5 million statewide in 2015. An additional $5 million was then approved in 2017. The first round of downtown grants for $100,000 went toward revitalizing upstairs apartments for Oregon Health and Science University students who work at Skylakes Medical Center. A Riverside, California man was booked into the Klamath County Jail on Wednesday on a 2010 warrant for allegedly raping, strangling, and assaulting a female Klamath Falls victim. Marco Cesar Rodriguez Morales, age 53, is charged with first-degree rape, two counts of first-degree assault and strangulation. In 2010, the victim told police she was abused and raped by Rodriguez over a two-month period. Rodriguez was booked in the Riverside County, California jail on January 2nd. He was then extradited to the Klamath County Jail, where he is now held on $115,000 bail. The Bureau of Reclamation named Ernest A. Conant director of the Mid-Pacific region on Thursday. Conant has nearly 40 years of water law experience and previously served as senior partner of Young Wooldridge LLP. Conant will manage one of the nation's largest and most complex water projects, the Central Valley Project, as well as Oregon's Klamath Project and others regionally in California. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Friday, January 18th, Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play. Be sure to check back each day for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news impacting the Klamath Basin. And thanks for listening. 